Just so you guys know how humid it is in Texas. I can't even see myself. I'm in the outside gym area right now. This is ridiculous. But I'm gonna wait a second for my camera to not be foggy. What is up? Does my haircut look fresh? We came back inside because I literally, I was out there for a couple minutes and it wasn't looking really any better. I was like, I don't care that much. So we're gonna do our flies inside instead of out there. And it'll probably be just as good. The dumbbells in here aren't as good, but it's okay. Um, I really want to get some like, like I want a wider shoulder frame. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's my downfall. It's just my shoulders. My shoulders aren't super huge and capped. So we're going to spam some side delts today for like a lot of sets. We might go do the machine in a little bit, but we're starting with some dumbbells. And you, yeah, I got a haircut. I think it looks pretty good. I respect it. So let's get started. They're playing Surround Sound. I think that's the name of the song. I like this song. What? We uh, are starting with some 15s. I feel like I always do like a pretty heavy weight. Like I'll do like 25s to 30s once I get into it. But I kind of swing a little too hard and I don't really, I don't know, I don't like feel the squeeze. I don't, I don't let it contract as good. So I'm gonna try and do a lighter weight this time and just work my way up with lighter weights. And I really wanna focus on my shoulders for a while cause like for months, probably for, yeah, until we go on our trip, that's like the main thing we're gonna do. And dude, my chest was so sore yesterday. It was insane. My shoulders are a little sore, but like a little sore means it's okay to do them. I think they're, I'm not, I'm not really too worried about them recovering a whole lot. But these are feeling kind of heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Holy smokes. I don't know if me going slower is making this so much harder or if I'm actually just dead from that bench press. But I think I am dead from the bench press because that was insane. I don't know. We'll do like 10 sets of these though or something. I don't know. We're going to do something crazy. We're doing a lot. We're doing it again. I'm going to stick with 15s for now because they burn bad. I just, I don't know. I think my shoulders are dead. I hope that's why. I hope I, I normally don't just like do such a bad form that it kind of just does nothing. I'll kind of explain why my shoulders are small though. Dude, that's crazy. All right, we'll say that was like the end of the warm up. I really want to try to go to like, not failure, but like, just till my shoulders are really dead on every set. Dude, my shoulders are actually so dead. I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe today is not the day to hit shoulders, but that's okay. We're still going to do them. Tomorrow we'll hit back. And then we'll probably hit legs just to give my upper body a rest day. I haven't hit back. I feel like doing bench press, I didn't really hit back at all. So it'll be a good back day.
They're cooked, man. I don't understand. All right. I, th I think we did four sets, and four sets is probably good enough. So we're going to try the uh, lateral raise machine again. But this time, I'm going to not go as high in weight. Or I'm going to just like, right now I'm at the normal weight I do, but I'm going to try and go slower, more controlled. I think that's the way to grow, man. But we will see how it feels and change accordingly. Oh my gosh. Shoulders are just such a weird muscle, dude. I feel like they're gonna like rip off from doing these, but like, I feel like I need them to feel like they're gonna rip off to grow. I just don't like it. At least on bench press, it's just like, you just keep on going and it just starts to burn, but it doesn't feel like anything's ripping off. You know what? Today is the day. I'm gonna sign up for school, S-K-O-O-L, and I'm gonna try to start my own thing. It's like working out base. We're gonna see what comes of it. Maybe nothing comes of it, but it costs $100 a month to do it. And uh, I don't know, that's a good chunk of change, 1200 bucks a year, but like, at the same time, if I could get two people to sign up for a course that's $50, that'll pay for it. So, I think that's what we're gonna try to do. And I think I am gonna make it 50 bucks, just cause like, personal training's $50 an hour on average. And uh, I don't know, being able to spend $50 a month, and I'll like really put some work into it. So it's like, I think it'll be worth the, uh, the $50 a month. For sure. I know it's like, I don't know. I've always wanted to have like a free thing, but like, I can't grow if I don't make money. Like I gotta, I gotta be trying to do something with my life. Maybe in the future, if I have other income sources that are just like way greater than that, then I could, but like, I got big goals, man. I want a Lamborghini, but like at the same time, I want to be able to give away Lamborghinis worth of money. So, we'll see. I ate a burger yesterday. That was one of the best burgers I've ever had. The carnivore diet, it may not be fun, but after doing it for literally just a couple of days, it makes you really realize how good food is. All right, 
I'll just hold this here. It, like, it burns a lot just holding it, like not letting it rest. I'm just trying to keep that tension on your shoulders a little bit. Okay. That's good though. I think we'll call it good here and then we'll go hop on some uh, some type of cable. Um, probably rear delt just because I like rear delt. All right, we're going to do some of these side delts. I don't think I've ever really done these on, on video, but this should be pretty good. I'm only doing like five pounds because my delts are fried, but we might do like three sets of these, both sides, and then call it good, and then do some. Then we'll move on to rear delt. Okay, that was a very abrupt ending to my shoulder day. But I like, that last set I did for some reason, on my left delt, it just like burns. And not in a normal like good way. Like I'm not recovering. And it's like, I know I didn't tear anything, but it just feels really weird. It's one of those things where it's like, I'd rather not. Like I rested for a while. And like even right now, it feels like I have an active, like, like I'm at the end of a set and it just burns. I don't know what that means, man. I'm not going to lie. But it's okay. We're going to check the pump we do have. And then we'll head out here. I definitely do feel like my rear delt's coming in a little bit though. Just a little bit. It's getting there slowly. I like it. I have like, I've talked about this before, but I used to never hit shoulders and uh, you can kind of tell, which is kind of bad, but it's okay. We're getting more into it and we're doing them a lot more now. So my delts are getting bigger. They definitely are bigger than they were but I got some progress to make still. And uh, with losing weight, I am losing weight. I'm at like 197 now, maybe 197 and a half. Um, and I think the carnivore diet was good, but like I just, I couldn't eat enough and it made it so miserable to eat meat because I was only eating meat. And I just got tired of it. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I can't eat dry meat by itself. And it's like, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat, like, literally anything else. A lot of people told me to eat fruit. But it's like, that defeats the purpose of the carnivore diet. It's supposed to be only meat. So, I don't know. I'll stop doing it. But I don't really know any shoulder poses. I can do a, a rear double bicep, I guess. But, yeah, my chest... Dude, it's so sore. I seriously had a pump all day, the rest of the day on Monday. Yeah, on Monday when I did it. And then all day yesterday on Tuesday. So, and I like, it's still, it's so tight, but it's okay. But yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely losing weight. We're getting there. I don't know, man. We got some progress to make, but. There's always progress to be made. We're just gonna keep on working on it. Let's check out the uh, physique over here. This is the the core check. I mean, it's not crazy. I feel like it does look a little leaner, but I don't know, man. I still have that. I feel like all of my fat is stored on my chest or in my love handles. Like for the, probably from like, 0% body fat all the way up to like 20% body fat. It's just all right there. And it's so annoying. Like I don't even have any really, 
Like, I feel like my back is kind of lean in my upper back and stuff. It's just like all chest and all love handle. And I have like a little bit on my stomach, but like even my stomach is almost to the point where like I could see abs under it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But hopefully once I get lean, it'll kind of my my chest will tighten up. I'm just worried that I'm going to have like a little bit of loose skin on my chest and my love handle. So it's like it's not going to look super good, but it's okay. We uh, we got fat and now we're not fat. So thank okay. you. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. I've been hitting abs and abs have been doing pretty good. So that's good. I'm definitely I feel like I need to hit more legs. Or at least just have longer leg days. I don't know, something. But I'm feeling pretty good. So that's always good. I'll see you guys tomorrow, though. We'll be hitting back, most likely. And um, I don't know. I'm so excited to eat food again, man. I'm going to have another burger today. I love me a burger. But hey, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.